Thank you.
morning. I'm pleased to declare Quinnipiac University's 2019 commencement exercises for the School of Business and School of Engineering officially open. Would everyone please stand for the national anthem, which will be performed by Taina Echeverria, class of 2021. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. I'd like to acknowledge the platform party, which includes trustees, deans, university administrators, and faculty representatives, as well as our speaker and honorary degree recipient. It's now my privilege to present Dr. Judy Olian, president of Quinnipiac University, who will bring you greetings on behalf of the university community. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations, class of 2019. We're delighted to be with you here today to celebrate this unforgettable milestone in each of your lives. This commencement marks an exciting and perhaps slightly anxious time for you. For the past few years, Quinnipiac has been your home. Please know it will always be your home and we hope you come back often. We are your constant, in addition to your families, in this momentous time of change for you. Now, but before I heap all of the praise on you, the graduates, let's all acknowledge those who are here with you for the entire journey, parents, partners, close friends, who helped you every step of the way. Let's congratulate them too with deep gratitude for all they did to make this day possible. Now graduates, you've shared a special time of learning and growth while here at Quinnipiac because of all this university, your schools, your faculty and administrative staff have to offer. But the truth is, that your experience was transformational because of what each of you contributed and made of your experience here. It is you. You've been engaged and caring, leaders in your own right, and you've left an indelible mark that will benefit future generations of graduates. Communities need you now more than ever. We live in times of social and political polarization, of growing tensions among economic, gender, racial, ethnic, and religious divides. At the same time, we're experiencing the excitement and opportunities of unprecedented discoveries in artificial intelligence and data sciences, democratized access to information and knowledge, 
disruptive technological breakthroughs across every field, new service opportunities, changes in market structures, and fascinating entrepreneurial opportunities where the only barrier to entry is the quality of one's idea. Exploiting these opportunities and deploying innovations wisely could radically alleviate social tensions and improve the quality of living for communities and even for nations that have been previously deprived. You are the generation that can achieve these breakthroughs, and you won't just change the world, you will literally make it. You are well prepared to help alleviate societal challenges, improve health outcomes, make positive uses of the vastly expanding knowledge and information available, steward the precious natural resources of our planet, and help bring opportunity to previously marginalized segments of society. You will create and utilize the opportunities of rapidly advancing technologies and scientific discovery to improve the quality of life for many. This is such an exciting time, and you are so well positioned to join this accelerating wave of innovation and socially impactful change. You're already doing your part. Your caring and dedication have extended to local and global communities. You're each ambitious, talented, caring, and curious. And most importantly, you conduct yourselves with integrity and decency. I expect that as you look back over your time at Quinnipiac, you'll marvel at the remarkable breadth of experiences you've had, high-impact class projects, courses that have changed how you think about the world, research collaborations alongside superbly talented faculty, and friendships formed for life with some of the best people you'll ever meet. As you go forth as a Quinnipiac alum, I encourage you to help others as you, as you have been helped along the way, whether mentoring future generations who follow you, bringing purpose and integrity to business, engineering, and entrepreneurship, joining research teams because of the promise of societal impact, or using your abundant talents in your own backyard to lift communities. Now I'm going to end with two stories, one about me and one about a very close friend of mine, to make two points that I hope will help you as you move to the next exciting stages of your lives. The first point is that failure isn't fatal. It's an essential step in the pathway of life. While I was in my last year as an undergraduate at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, I worked the second shift as an assistant at the Hebrew University uh, with one of the most senior leaders of that university. It was a stretch because I'd never done anything like that before, and it was a big deal to be working there. Well, within a few short months, I was fired. I still don't quite know why I was fired, but I think I, it, was, it had a bit to do with the fact that I was a little cheeky in questioning things from my lowly perch, and perhaps it had something to do with my gender. I was mortified that I had failed, and I wanted to crawl under a rock. Somehow, through gutsiness and likely naivete, or perhaps both, I applied for an aspirational job in the Prime Minister's office in Israel. In my interview, I shared, somewhat sheepishly, that I'd been fired, why I thought it had happened, and what I learned from that experience. To my utter surprise, they still hired me. Perhaps my candor, and my self-reflection about that embarrassing experience got me that job, which turned out to be a fantastically interesting growth opportunity that was significant to what came later in my life. You see, failure is never fatal. It can be the stepping stone to success if you take the time to learn from it. The second story is about seizing opportunity my oldest friend was my immediate neighbor in Melbourne, Australia. We grew up together there, and our families were very close. We've remained connected over the years. She became a very successful 
broadcast journalist and director, film director in Australia, while my path brought me here to the US. After her parents had passed away, she discovered that her dad wasn't really her dad. Someone else in her town was her biological father, and that she now had seven new half-brothers and sisters. Obviously, the conflicting and painful emotions of that discovery were hard to fathom. She called to tell me all this as she was going through the process of discovery. I asked her what she planned to do next. She shared that she was determined to go meet her biological dad, camera in tow. And she did, capturing the remarkable moment of meeting him on film. Since then, she's developed a rich and complex relationship with her newfound family, <coughs> all on film. It's been a mix of blessings that grow out of becoming part of a new family unit, as well as some challenges that have come with it. That film about this very interesting Australian family as it found ways to weave itself together was shown on Friday night at the New Haven International Film Festival. I call that seizing opportunity. Remarkable events will happen in your life. You can let them hold you back or even cripple you. Sometimes these opportunities will just be missed, pass over you as non-events or you can turn them into gifts in your life. I choose to seize the opportunity. I encourage you to remain curious and open to the world, to continue learning and growing. In our rapidly changing world, we don't know what we will need to know in 10 years, or maybe even in five years. What we do know is that to be successful and enlightened, we must be lifelong learners. We will be forever proud of you and will follow your life's journey with great interest. Please remain a bobcat for life. Stay connected wherever you land. Find ways to remain in touch with your fellow QU friends and family. And remember to engage in lifelong growth and learning also through Quinnipiac. Congratulations, class of 2019. Remember, don't be afraid of failure and seize opportunity. You've already made your mark. You will continue to do so. And we can't wait to see how you change the world. Thank you. I now call Javier Polit, Kiku Jones, and President Olium to come forward for the conferral of the honorary degree. Javier Polite, in the field of information technology, you are hailed as a visionary and global thought leader. As Chief Information Officer for Procter & Gamble, you set out to digitally transform the consumer goods giant whose products are used by 5 billion consumers daily. In this role, you've made analytics, data science, information security, and artificial intelligence key features of P&G's business vocabulary and culture. Before that, you leveraged IT to improve all facets of business for such multinational companies as Coca-Cola and Office Depot. Your experience and your four graduate degrees in business have made you a sought-after advisor and board member of companies such as Dell and AT&T, but also charitable organizations, including the Ronald McDonald House and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. You are a champion for diversity and inclusion, as well as gender equality in the workplace. You have worked especially hard to level the playing field for female leadership and to create opportunities for Americans of Hispanic heritage. For your decades of innovative leadership and your enduring passion for education, we are pleased to confer upon you this honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters this 19th day of May, 2019.
My by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you, Javier Polit, the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Javier. It's now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Javier Polit. Graduates, faculty, parents, relatives and loved ones, good morning. <clears throat> and congratulations to the 2019 Quinnipiac University School of Business and School of Engineering graduates. It is an honor for me to be here today as you mark this significant milestone. I want to thank President Dr. Julie Olian and Provost Mark Thompson for inviting me and to thank you, the committee that selected me and awarded me with the honorary degree from this great institution, I promise to represent the university well. To the graduates, I'm proud to be here today, as I know how you, you have put in years of hard work, early mornings, late nights, all-nighters, and a tremendous amount of dedication in the pursuit of your degrees. And today we gather to recognize and celebrate your great achievements and look forward into the future and all the promise and adventures ahead. I know each of you will use your talents to solve some of the world's greatest challenges. We need your energy and the world needs your passion. And no matter how small, your collective contributions will help drive change and shape new paradigms and bring us together as individuals, communities, and most importantly, as nations. And I'm confident that each and every one of you will do your part to shape a better world. But before we talk about the future, I want to recognize the people who believed in you from your infancy and throughout your life to help you get to this momentous occasion. For no achievement or success is ever reached without the help of many, like the parents, grandparents, step-parents, brothers and sisters, mentors, friends and partners, and many others here with us today. These are the people that believed in you so deeply, more than yourselves at certain times, people who saw great things in you, and even when you're in the middle of your toughest times and couldn't see your way beyond the next exam or the next semester, they believed in you then, they believe in you now, and they will believe in you forever. You should always cherish their love and guidance and thank them for the many sacrifices they made so selflessly. So let's give a round of applause for those here today supporting the graduates of Quinnipiac class of 2019. You know, I once sat where you're sitting now as a new graduate, and as I prepared for today's talk, I thought to myself, what can I share in a few minutes that would benefit this class as they move to start the professional and life pursuits? Be brief, was my first thought. After all, I know you have parties to go to. So I will. But to earn my honorary degree, Dr. Olian told me I have to talk for at least 10 minutes. So I decided to share some of my experience and the cur curveballs thrown my way. But to some chance, I learned to hit more of them than I missed. Like each of you, I graduated with big dreams. I would work hard, get promoted, and climb my way to the C-suite. I had a great start when I accepted my role as a systems auditor in the financial services industry. But that's where the fantasy journey ended and the real one began. The real one included being passed up over promotions several times, taking on global assignments and relocations away from family and friends, gaining clarity and understanding mainly through the mistakes that I made. And the biggest setback of all was putting my career on pause after my cancer diagnosis. As a new college graduate, none of these developments were my plan, but they happened. So I want to share three key truths that I have experienced. I carried them with me in my day-to-day -day life as a president and chief information officer of a Fortune 500 company. And more importantly, 
as a married father of a teenage daughter, a job which is just as challenging, sometimes more, but also one that gives me my greatest choice. So the first truth, failure is inevitable. As a young professional, I had the good fortune at one point in my career to choose between two different jobs with two different companies. I weighed my options and I made a choice. Little more than a year into the role, my job would be eliminated. I questioned everything. What had I done wrong? What didn't I deliver? I then worried my failure was that I hadn't assessed the company well and I focused only on compensation. But at 24, I thought, how, this, how can this happen to me? Within a few weeks, I was fortunate to be offered another job. Some of you might face similar experiences, but we must remember not to discount the failures in our journey. To become that self-perceived ideal persona, that executive, that engineer, that leader. Those failures define us and make us that unique and incredible person we grow into. Embracing failures and the dis disappointments that come with them can be that very catalyst that propels you with new convictions to higher desired aspirations. With all of your lifelong experiences, whatever they yield, always pause to learn from them. Take what you can from those experiences as we must always embrace the learnings from our greatest failures and greatest disappointments. My second truth, have conviction to stay the course. Change is a given. I accepted a job doing technology work in a company based in Delray Beach, Florida. Phenomenal job for somebody like me that likes the outdoors in a warm climate. But before too long, I was asked to do operational analysis work for a merger and acquisition in Minneapolis in the middle of winter. Until then, I never knew what 65 below zero was. <laughs> or that you could plug your car into an engine heater. Or that lots of people actually enjoy ice fishing. I was not one of them. I was there for six months. It was not my favorite assignment, but I stuck it out and continued to grow in the company. When you work for a big company, it's not always about your personal growth. It's about the commitment to the organization as well. So change is a given. Think about the changes you've been through in the past four years. You possibly changed your major, had more than one roommate, had some disappointments, and moments of great achievement. Maybe who you are today is not who you imagined you would become when you first came as a freshman. In earning a degree, you committed yourself to a dream and worked hard to achieve it. Always keep that conviction about what you are doing. The path you start today in your lives will change, and so will your goals, and so will your dreams. They will fluctuate, they may have to be paused, and for sure, they will be tested. And you will know when your dreams are big, because they will make you nervous. So be nervous, never settle. As with all matters from the heart, you will know when you find what is right for you. Keep looking, never settle, and have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. My third truth is commit to continuing to learn and reinvent yourself. We live in exponential times, algorithmic times, you must be dynamic and always reinvent yourself. You're coming of age at a dynamic and amazing time with machine learning, robotics, and artificial intelligence. You have technology and you have global awareness at levels that generations before you did not have. With that awareness comes an informed conscience, and your generation has no limits. And you will take on issues and complex problems You'll know how to find others similar with similar interests and see barriers and opportunities quicker than generations before you. So I challenge you to always be curious, seek mental simulation to learn, as successes of the past are just that. They're in the past. Never allow success to yield complacency. So I have a request for you related to this idea of success. In my life, I have been blessed with many achievements, 
and what people would consider important jobs. And no doubt, each of you will experience great success on your journeys as well. But I have never, nor should you ever, allow any job, any career, any role, any title, or any level of success to define who you are. Each of you is a unique and incredible individual. Let family, love, and humanity define you. Measure yourself by what you give back to help humanity and by what you do to solve some of the world's greatest inequities. I leave you with these thoughts. Strive for excellence, but know you will face failure. Learn from it. Plan, know that change will come. Have conviction to stay the course. And finally, be proud of your accomplishment today, but commit to learning and reinventing yourselves. And in closing, love what you do. Be amazing at all that you do. Make your dreams your destiny. Embrace change. Be dynamic. Work hard. And leave a legacy. My wish for all of you today is that your dreams make you nervous. And may you always see the world from an elevated place. Thank you, and congratulations to the Quinnipiac class of 2019. Thank you, Javier. I ask Dr. Matthew O'Connor, Dean of the School of Business, to proceed to the degree area. And it's my privilege to call forward Dr. Mary Mikesell, Associate Dean of the School of Business, who will introduce School of Business candidates for degrees. Greetings from the faculty and staff at the School of Business. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration please approach the stage? Marshals, please direct the candidates to the platform. Avra Lynn Aubin. Mario Bonito, Jr. Grant Hale. Brianna Monique Hodge. Michael Stephen Landry. Michael is the recipient of the Award for Academic Excellence for the Bachelor of Business Administration. Amir Arnel Motibag. Barbara Pinconi. Stephen A. Ray. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Roncaoli. I ask the candidates to please rise. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Business candidates for the de degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science from the School of Business please approach the stage. Marshals, please direct the candidates to the platform. Jonathan Tyler Abrams. Alessandro Hugo Abbas. Carolyn Mohani 
Accardi. Hey. Michael Vincent Acacella. Ashley Jean Adana. Jessilami Kate Akini Fessi. Jessilami is the recipient of the Edward J. Scannell Prize. Christopher Lewis Alisi. Kyle Patrick Allingham. Jamie Manuel Alvarez. Kyle Patrick Allward. Tyler James Amberger. Alec Daniel Amarino. Ryan Angelina. Timothy Ryan Angeletti. Frank Anthony Angeli Lilo. Benjamin Marcus Appleblatt. Salvatore Anthony Arena. Brandon Lewis Arts. Thomas Kirk Barber. Finn Grayson Barcheski. Sean Robert Barth. Danielle Nicole Bartolotta. Louis A. Basilio. Jeremy A. Batista. Julie Eve Bava. Connor Stephen Beastie. Kelsey Elizabeth Becker. Brooke Alicia Beckerman. Brooke is the recipient of the Marketing Department Student Achievement Award. Christopher William Benedict. Courtney Marie Benedictson. Hey. Thomas Frank Bennett. Ariana S. Burke. Malik Ralph Bernardo. Alexander Leonard Bernstein. Joshua Max Barron. Stephen F. Bettencourt. Courtney Alessa Blumquist. Ryan Brand Bobley. Christina Marie Bocadoro. Nicholas P. Bacuzzi. Daniel Bach. Melissa Ann Boniface. Okay. Kurt Daniel Bonner. Remington Beaumont Borg. Ashley Mary Boscarino. Samuel Alfred Botwin. Kyle Patrick Boyle. Megan Grace Bragaglia. Eric Matthew Brickman. Eric is the recipient of the Entrepreneurship Student Achievement Award. Christina Marie Bukala. Jay Lee Burgos. Brendan Samuel Carnes. Nicholas J. Calderero. Daniel Thomas Caniff. 
Kevin Kantner. <laughs> Nam Hong Kao. Andrew Jack Capasso. Courtney Lane Caputo. Kristen Ellen Capuzzo. Gustavo N. Carpito. N Michael Carrier. Thomas Anthony Casal. Amy Michelle Cavallo. Danielle Nicole Sensi. Robert Anthony Cirilio. Ryan, Sean Ryan Charney. Peter Lee Klebuyanis. Aaron Kelly Sibarowski. Ryan James Samino. Juliana Kathleen Ciosia. Michael James Claffney. Eric Joseph Cohen. Nicholas R. Coco. Matthew Ross Collins. Ryan Patrick Collins. Aubrey Marie Conti. Matthew Corso. Caitlin Rose Cotter. Christopher Andreas Couch. James Vincent Cornoyer. Michael Scott Cordemanch. Victoria Marie Courtney. Victoria is the recipient of two awards, the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Business and the President's Scholarship Award. She is joined on the stage by her parents, Thomas and Maria Courtney. Emily Marie Kreshamani. Michael Pellegrino Kreshamani. Dara Jane Crosby. Joseph James Cunningham. Foster Maxwell Cuomo. Frank Michael Curcio. Evan Thomas Curran. Caitlin Jean Curry. Kyle Maurice Cushion. Sean Gregory Dacey. Kristen Dallo. Zachary Paul Daly. Anthony Joseph Diamato. Victoria and Marie Diamato. Reed William Descanio. Grace May Davis. William Francesco DeVoe. Nicholas Stewart DeBold. Joseph DeFrank. Justin Delaney, Jr. Vincent Michael Deru. Tyler A. DeVito. Robert Sean Devlin. Nicholas Salvatore De Benedetto. Candice Lynn DeCenzo. Ricky DeLeo. Matthew Dennis DePoto. Zhu Ki Dong. 
Michael Joseph Donadio. <laughs> Matthew Joseph Donahue. Griffin F. Dory. William Anthony Dowd. William is the recipient of the International Business Award. Connor Patrick Doyle. Samantha Nicole Drake. Urania A. Dua. Kelly Elizabeth Dugan. Jacob Robert Dupre. Jonathan Graham Dupre. Christopher James Dyson. Gregory Mark Ebersol. Alexis Nicole Emanuelides. Michael Ang. Charles Erickson. Joseph James Esposito. Cooper Dane Ewald. Ryan Patrick Feely. Bethlehem Fekadu. Nathan. Nathan Samuel Ferrer. Tyler George Fuley. Isaac Estri Filderman. Christopher William Fothergill. Daniel Fox. Catherine Eleanor Freeman. Colin Frentz. Matthew John Frost. Mana Fujiwara. Justin Furtado. Jackson Tyler Gabriel. Christina Michelle Galafaro. Vincent Edward Gambino. Gabriela Sofia Garcia. Gregory Gardner. Rebecca Leah Garfinkel. Leslie G. Sean Michael Geisman. James Anthony Gentili. Geraldine Genuio. Jonathan Caros Gibson. Suzanne Maria Gill. Annika Palmer Gins. Gianna Marie Gelidi. Jack Thomas Goki. John David Golan. Brad Zachary Goldberg. Jonathan Luis Gonzalez. Josie Raquel Gonzalez. Stephen Goodwin. Anne Nicole Guthrow. Nicholas Clarence Granahan. Vincent Anthony Guarino. Eric Andrew Golestad. Eric is the recipient of the Ronald Marangel Award. Connor Charles Gunnison. 
Andre Marcus Hackney. Alex Joseph Hardenberg. Cameron James Herrer. Brian Gregory Hargraves. Callahan Patrick Harmon. Lucas Arthur Hartman. Anthony R. Henry. Janelle Renee Herbert. Caitlin Elizabeth Hogan. Jeffrey Devin Holm. Jenna Mercedes Hook. Jenna is the recipient of the Management Department Award. Jonathan Johein Eibolin. Andre Iniguez. Michael Isola. Christopher William Iverson. Savina Daglina Jackson. Jason Michael Jacobus. Ryan James Jager. Elizabeth Rose Jasko. Elizabeth is the recipient of the Edward J. Scannell Prize. Ryan Scott Jalay. Nicholas Keen Germain. <laughs> Victoria Anoush Johnson. Kyle C. Jones. Coralie Alexi Joseph. Richard Paul Jowdy, Jr. Christiana Tasia Kames. Michael Anthony Karam. Pietro Nicholas Karras. Gregory Harold Kasser. Cameron John Cassis. Guy Mayer Kaufman Glisco. Gregory Carl Collins. Julia Jane Clemming. Edward Riley Kennedy. Sydney Madison Kenyon. David Kersner. Constantine Coven. Michael Anthony Kiernan. Thomas Lawrence Kiernan. Alice J. Kim. Jeffrey Kim. Michelangela Kisco. Jordan Elise Koplik. Shana Nicole Corrine. Michael Koziars. Zachary A. Kraus. Justin P. Krowick. Allison Lee Kuhn. Allison is the recipient of the Outstanding Student Affairs Leadership Award. Austin Kupik. Claudia Lamadrid. Nicholas Anthony Lamentino. Alexandra Holly Langdon. Benjamin Parker Lanza. Patrick Joseph Lapadula Jr. 
Marissa Gabrielle Larkin. Corey James Larkins. Vincent LaRosa. Andrew Simon Lazarev. Kristen Susan Lazara. Cameron Ledger. Jessica Lynn Ledger. Thank you. Ian Zachary Leichter. Marissa Christine Lello. Kevin John Lennon. Dylan Leon. Monica Lashinsky. Jonathan Joseph Leomero. Gregory A. Lombardo. Thank you. Tyler Charles Leota. Nicholas Matthew Listner. Lucille Marie Lagozo. Michael Thomas Luger. Carolina Lugo Batantes. Brian Patrick Lynch. Anne Elizabeth Lyons. Brandon Madalone. Justin Raymond Madalena. Robert Matthew Mahone. Vine Ryan Malotra. Thomas Lewis Mineta. Bradley Gary Mantle. Max Daniel Marino. Michael James Mara. Craig Richard Martin. Taylor Marie Martin. Tyler Joseph Martinelli. Stephanie Martinez. Anthony Charles Martino. Dane Anthony Martins. Lauren Rose Mastropolo. Joshua J. Matos. Alexander Brian Maddy. Elijah Jordan Maines. Connor Kyler McCann. Kevin Gerard McCarthy. Emothy A. McClanahan. Taylor Elizabeth McEachran. Ryan James McFarland. Brenna A. McGowan. Dair Banuel McHenry. Kelly Christine McHugh. Keith Thomas McIntyre. Sarah Lynn McKinney. <laughs> Jake Ryan Mendelson. David John Menville. James D. Miller. James Robert Miller. Kevin William Miller. Gregory Michelson. Alexander George Miller. Nicholas Vincent Monaco. Anson John Morgan. Luke Lorenzo McMoniz. Ellen Christine Morides. 
Ellen is the recipient of the Biomedical Marketing Department Student Achievement Award. Brian Thomas Mosky. Amanda Rose Murad. Daniel Sean Murphy. Rachel Elizabeth Murphy. Eric Patrick Murray. Jack Joseph Murray. Matthew N. Mascarella. Radia Khan Mudasim. Nicoletta R. Naclario. Hayden Scott Nadler. Amir Namjukales. John Peter Napatala. Michael J. Nardone. Kendall Lee Nickel. Jimmy Lee Oates III. Andrew Joseph O'Donnell. Megan Lorraine O'Keefe. Sina Ahmed Olia. Kara Ann O'Mealy. Brandon Orlando. Nathaniel John O'Shea. Alexander Matthew Asa. Daniel Patrick O'Toole. Kyle Eugene Pacella. Sai Chaitanya Pamili. Derek Bailey Parker. Nicole Marie Parrish. Carolyn Victoria Paralak. Jeffrey Pazlerma. Alexandra Lynn Pelletier. Christopher James Perez. Alec Ryan Parati. David Daniel Pescatora. Matthew F. Peterson. Nicholas Dominic Picanic. Daniel Angelo Picone. Shelby Pierre Paul. Michael Emmanuel Petruzzello. Scott Vincent Pitts. Andrew Pizzi. Brandon Charles Porter. Matthew Clifford Potty. Matthew is the recipient of the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Business and the College of Arts and Sciences and the President's Scholarship Award. He is joined on the stage by his parents, Dorothy and Jeff Potty. Timothy Joseph Poulin, Jr. Tyler John Poulin. Dylan Thomas Purcell. Trevor M. Quinlan. Brian Vincent Quinn. Matthew Cleary Pucci. Lauren Amanda Quinn. Brogan Patrick Rafferty. Franklin Ramsey. Luke Christian Rella. Maxwell Ranton. 
Paul Justin Rice, Samuel William Roberts, Emily Ann Reed, Naomi Alexa Robinson, Jason Rodriguez, Layla L. Rodriguez, Damon Lon Romeo, Brandon Thomas Root, Robert M. Russo, Garrett James Russell, John Solovanchik III, Jillian Salustio, Sean Joseph Sanderson, Katria Roshin Sands, Hayden John Savistano, Matthew C. Shaw, Kara Nicole Shands, Tyler Shear, Jason Lee Scheidemantel, Ryan Scott Schneider, Elizabeth Leora Schuler, Alexandra Marie Seeger, Madeline Ilana Saruya, John Burke Sedian, Alexis Nicole Severino, Oops, thanks. Priyal Shah, Caroline Bailey Sharif, Patrick Francis Sherry, Luke Kirk Shiplow, Sarah Marie Smirkinos, Eric Anthony Serksnis, Caleb Ali Schulman, Peter Skripsak, Constantine Ioannis Susulis, Eric Michael Solomon, John Anthony Spadavecchia, Jr., Christopher J. Sauer. Christopher is the recipient of the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Business and the President's Scholarship. He is accompanied on the stage by his parents, Joby and Maria. <laughs> Maria Spano. Maria is the recipient of the Computer Information Systems Outstanding Senior Award. Morgan Lee Staples. Christopher Stephen Studley. Jonathan Frank Suda. Kieran Dane Summers. Megan L. Swan. Kelsey Lynn Sweeney. Robert Thomas Tamaro. Jessica Ann Tatis. Kita Tadraza. Jessica Nicole Thibault. Ryan Christopher Thomas. Luciana Tobia. Mahir Sood. Joseph Torgerson. Joseph Daniel Tosada. 
Feely Sophie Toure. Morgan Stephanie Triffin. Sarah Heston Trojan. Kyle Patrick Truche. Ryan Robert Trzinski. Jessica M. Van Wart. Nicholas J. Vendetto. Dario John Venuto. Alyssa Rose Verrill. Jenna Lynn Vallecco. Deanna Elizabeth Vitale. Zachary Noel Von Tobel. Parker Wade. Warren Christopher Webb. Carissa Marie Whedon. Lauren Nicole Welty. John Edwin Wentz. Daniel Todd Whalen. Michael James Whalen. Brandon Williams. Matthew Paul O'Neill Williams. Stephanie Wint. Jordan Samuel Wood. Thank you. Alessandro Woodbridge. Justin Theodore Rin. Amit Yona. Dwayne Young. Elizabeth Claire Zabelny. Hey. Justin Gerard Zaccoli. Frederick Elon Zaretsky. Taylor R. Zenny. Tina Zhao. Evan Charles Zimmer. Alyssa Lynn Zumo. Matthew Stewart Zurich. I ask the candidates to please rise. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Business candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. By the, pa <laughs> by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. On behalf of the School of Business, congratulations to all of today's graduates. Thank you.
I ask that Dr. Justin Kyle, Dean of the School of Engineering, proceed to the degree area. I now call forward Dr. Corey Cassatt, Associate Dean of Engineering, to introduce School of Engineering candidates for degrees. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science from the School of Engineering please approach the stage? Marshals, please direct the candidates to the platform. Connor Aiken Skinny. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Apadu. Theo Taran Asseng. Jamie Caroline Bannon. Matthew John Barletta. <laughs> Giuseppe Luigi Chacho. <laughs> Elizabeth Rogan Conlin. Anthony J. Cuomo. Michael John DiMatteo. William Francis Doherty III. Daniel Dresselhaus. Carly B. Emil. Carly is the recipient of the award for outstanding achievement in software engineering. Jacqueline Fabian. Jacqueline is the recipient of the award for outstanding achievement in industrial engineering. Marissa Christine Ferrigno. Caitlin N. Frischa. Benjamin David Hagen. <laughs> Jack Robert Harrison. Brett Allen Hayes. Elias Heckman Heath. Shannon E. Hickey. Alexander Lewis Hutman. Alexander is the recipient of the award for outstanding achievement in computer science. Matthew Orion Jagella. Kerrigan Brianne Jones. Eric John Kinney. Robert Kometz. Andrew Emmanuel Kukulis. Andrew is the recipient of the award for Outstanding Achievement in Mechanical Engineering and the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Engineering. Francesco Luciano Lanza. Jason James LePan. Aaron Doris Larson. Aaron is the recipient of the award for outstanding achievement in civil engineering. Robert Laudadio. David Vincent Lepore. Dara B. Levinsky. Kyle Gregory Lopez. Kyle is the recipient of the award for outstanding achievement in mechanical engineering. Michael Malhotra. Christian John Manetta. Frank Anthony Marino. James D. Maruli. Alexia Eleni Mazes. Connor Thomas McCullough. Caitlin Mitchell. Hey. Nuran Mustafa Mohammed. 
William Patrick Matola. Catherine Yolanda Norberry. Jake Eric Olson. Taylor Lee Pettengill. Michael Shane Anthony Ruane. Austin Maxwell Scudder. Nicholas Robert Sosa. Bradley Charles Spear. Hi. Paula Stratmane. Aaron Robert Trinish. Matthew George Travado. Matthew James Vaco. Elogio Valentin Jr. Nathaniel A. Vernon. Trevor David Vietz. Caitlin Marie Weiss. Ian Christopher Zane. Charles Yang Zhu. I ask the candidates to please rise. <laughs> Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Engineering candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. On behalf of the School of Engineering, congratulations to all of today's graduates. I'm pleased to introduce our student speakers. First, we'll hear from Daniel Bach from the School of Business. Daniel is a finance graduate from Marlboro, New Jersey. Good morning, President Olian, Dr. Thompson, and Dean O'Connor. On behalf of the student body, I'd like to welcome our distinguished faculty, staff, guests, our family, and our friends to the 2019 School of Business and Engineering Commencement Ceremony. And to the graduating class, congratulations on all your success. I'll never forget my first day at Quinnipiac, driven by my nerves and ambitions, guided by my dreams and motivations. I dropped my bags off at my dorm and went to go thank my parents for letting me experience this journey. And as I hugged my father, I whispered into his ear, I'm going to make you guys proud. <laughs> Simple words I have yet to forget as I begin my last day here. As I began to reminisce on my time here at Quinnipiac, I quickly jumped to understand what that time has brought us. Lifelong friends, worldly experiences, and maybe even love. But the most important attribute Quinnipiac has provided us is an opportunity an opportunity to thrive and succeed, to strive and to prosper. We were all fortunate enough to wear that sacred blue and gold, to walk our storied quad, and now we all have an opportunity to take the world by storm. As we begin this exciting chapter of our young lives, we may begin in different stages. Some may have their careers completely figured out, 
Some may be students again, and some may still be trying to find their passions, but we are all exactly where we should be. Each of us will set, pursue, and achieve our goals at a time that is right for us. Because in reality, each of our individual journeys to success is just as important as our perception of success itself. Take a quick moment and look to your left and to your right. Some may be strangers, some may be your best friends, and some may even be considered family. But no matter the walks of life we have come from, no matter the time and experience it took to get us here, we all sit here full of pride and undeniable accomplishment, all sitting together as Bobcats, a deep and enduring bond that we have established that we will carry with us through whatever paths we take ahead. Now behind this day lies years of hard work, but behind the diploma we just all received, our own stories, our own memories, our own experiences, our own unconditional will to succeed and to turn our dreams into a reality. Each one of you, think about your most overwhelming, your most challenging, that most difficult moment you had here, whether it be with your courses, with your roommates or with your friends. That moment instilled in us a sense of everlasting accomplishment and survival that we will take with us through every challenge we face ahead. Though this next stage of our lives is one of change and uncertainty, Quinnipiac has helped lay a foundation for us that we will carry with us for a lifetime. We all came here excited, optimistic, and looking forward to the future, but we also felt so nervous, scared, and uncertain. But today, we leave proud, accomplished, and determined. Of course, there will be obstacles, and we will be doubted. We must compete from graduates with schools both large and small, many much better known. We will be challenged, and we must prosper. We will be thrown into a jungle and forced to survive. That jungle may not be ready for us, but we are ready for it. For that jungle does not understand the passion, ambition, and overwhelming determination we have here. For what Quinnipiac has brought us is more than an education. Rather, it is the ability to take on that next stage with confidence and with pride, and to prove to everyone that that small school in the Valley of the Sleeping Giant produces the best and brightest professionals. To the class of 2019, congratulations. May you reach your highest dreams. May you succeed and prosper beyond everybody's expectations. But more importantly, may you never forget the day your parents dropped you off at your dorm and let you go on this life-changing journey. So to all my fellow grads, best wishes for every success in the future. And dad, I never forgot those words. I'm going to make you guys proud. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. I'm pleased to introduce our School of Engineering speaker, Kyle Gregory, Gregory Lopez. Kyle is a mechanical engineering graduate from East Islip, New York. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. Welcome and congratulations, class of 2019, graduates, family, and friends. It's an honor to be standing in front of you all as your commencement speaker for the School of Engineering. I also want to take a minute to thank the School of Business for being here as well. It makes me feel way more important because without them, I would only be speaking to roughly 68 engineers, computer scientists, and their moms right now. So thank you. <laughs> Needless to say, those 68 engineers and computer scientists have been like a family to me since coming to Quinnipiac. Like any family, there are those big sister figures who have constantly motivated me to do better. The caring brother, who has always been there for moral support during tough times. The uncle, who isn't actually your uncle, but you kind of pretend is. The inconvenient little brother, who everyone tries to ignore. The annoying cousin, who keeps asking you for the answer to number two on the homework. The other annoying cousin, who doesn't do any of the group project and ghosts every single one of your text messages. Regardless, as a family, we've achieved a lot. We recently won four titles at the American Society for Engineering Education Conference, founded our own honor society, finished major design projects, earned jobs at groundbreaking companies such as Sikorsky and Electric Boat, and have only been semi-socially awkward through it all. Seriously, when I look around the room right now, I see inventors, problem solvers, innovators, and the brightest minds of tomorrow. During our time, we've seen a lot. We've learned the value of authenticity, 
and to not be tempted to take the easy way out when a problem gets too tricky. We've learned to not copy answers and from peers, but to work hard in our studies to fuel our own intellectual curiosity. We've also learned to be resourceful and to befriend people who know the material best. Looking beyond the School of Engineering, as a university, we've seen times of great change during our undergraduate careers. We've elected our first female president, Dr. Judy Olian, who has ambitious plans for the future. We've added a Starbucks to our student center, welcomed club sports to the community, and upgraded our residence halls with air conditioning. Let's not forget about all we've overcome as well. We survived several black bear sightings and an underwhelming black bear spring concert. However, with this success comes loss. And although the addition of a pub on York Hill has been approved, we've lost one of the greats and retired clubhouse this past year. <laughs> Undoubtedly, the Quinnipiac community is one of a kind, and the faculty and staff here make it so unique. Having a personal connection with my professors has not only made me more comfortable and apt to learn in the classroom, but has also enabled me to ask questions and feel okay with not knowing something. Everyone sitting here has had that professor who is your rock. The one who you relate to the most and you can rely on to give you the best advice that you may not always want to hear, but that you do always need. What the professors here seem to have taught us best is how to handle failure, or better put, the art of failing. Like most students, I learned early on that the pace of the college classroom was different than that of high school. And with that came changes to the way I learned. With these changes came some failure. Look around. All of you are here because you've made it. You've not only survived college, but you have triumphed over your time here. Despite the ups and downs of your college career, you all will soon become alumni of this institution. That's right, Quinnipiac still asks you for money even after you've graduated. <laughs> now look around again. Remember all the faces you no longer see next to you since you've started this journey. Those faces that sat next to you in freshman year English class that you no longer see next to you now. I can guarantee that some of those faces never learned what failure was. Failure isn't just missing a deadline or being unprepared for an exam. It's not disappointing an advisor or hearing that you didn't get that summer internship. In order to fail fully, you need to learn from your mistakes. We are resilient. It is only when we have the opportunity to improve upon our shortcomings that we have, so to speak, succeeded at failing. Master the art of failing and understand your weaknesses because it is only through them that you will be able to learn and become the best version of yourself. Like most of you, I remember the defining moment when I realized what my passion was. I realized I wanted to be an engineer. I told my parents, my friends, everyone else I knew. I contemplated if it would be worth the work, questioned switching my major. I even cried several times. Minutes later, my roommate knocked on the door and said, Kyle, get dressed. We're going to be late for commencement. Whether you've known what you wanted to do for a while, yeah, that one hit a little later. Whether you've known what you wanted to do for a while, found out minutes before graduation, or are still figuring it out now, stay true to yourself and you'll travel far. It's never too late to do what you want or become who you want to be. Go forth and create your own future. Be authentic in your ways. Lose a little, but gain a lot more. Most of all, master the art of failing. Our potential is boundless, and our success isn't measured by making it to the next destination in life. I'll leave you all with one final thought, which is best expressed in the words of famous philosopher and street poet, Post Malone. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, class of 2019. Thank you, Kyle. It's now my privilege to introduce John Archangelo, Quinnipiac alumnus and Senior Director of Alumni and Parent Relations to officially welcome our graduates as alumni. I ask the graduates to please rise. It is my honor to stand before you as Quinnipiac Senior Director of Alumni and Parent Relations and as a member of the class of 2002. I invite you to move your tassel to the left of your cap. This simple act signifies your transition from student to alumnus and the continuation of your unique, meaningful, and lifelong relationship with Quinnipiac. 
I'm especially pleased to have you all as fellow alumni, and I'll see you back for Alumni Weekend this fall. Congratulations. Congratulations again to all of, our, all of our graduates, families, friends, supporters. As we close today's ceremonies, I have just a couple of announcements. Only the platform party and faculty will recess out. Our graduates and families can proceed to the Rocky Top Student Center next door for a reception. Transportation to the Rocky Top Student Center for those needing assistance is available. Once outside, you'll see signs for the shuttle on the left. Now I ask everyone to please rise for the recessional. <laughs>